This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news, all right? So we got T.I. He's on All Deaf Comedy, and man, they roasted him. As soon as he walked in, they said, check this guy for a wire. Then uh, someone, one of the guys said, uh, Rupert Batman was a, a poem for babyface. <laughs> Yo, go watch that uh, All Deaf Comedy thing with T.I. It's, it's hilarious. They're just roasting each other. Um, Offset drops his snippet for a song with him in future. Um, th- I'm sure I'm assuming this will help him. I mean, you got to stay busy when you're going through grief sometimes, otherwise, you can get lost in grief. Uh, condolences to him and his family and Quavo. And they're, you know, it's just crazy, man. But uh, he obviously filmed this before. Um, he filmed this on Halloween night, the night that Takeoff lost his life. Um, Asian Doll says, yo, on here, effing since middle school, get off my Twitter. I just started effing six years ago. It's about time I started dating. I've always been in a relationship or putting my career first by overly working myself, not thinking about taking D-I-C-K, kiss my D-I-C-K. Yeah, she'd be switching guys. Like, she, she, that, she'd be getting tossed around like a baton out here, okay? I've, ever since... Uh, King Von passed. She was doing it before then. I think she slept with uh, NBA Youngboy, and then uh, that's what made that event happen. It's 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 pretty nasty out here. Diddy tries to rewrite history with crediting Nori and DJ FN. They did great things, but they did not start podcasting whatsoever. Okay. Uh, first of all, Nori got into podcasting because he can't rap anymore. Okay. First of all. Uh, which is fine. DJ EFN is like a blessing for Nori because, you know, he has, you can tell DJ EFN has his stuff together. He knows the potential of something like that and forced Nori to do it because Nori was going on a lot of other people's podcasts. He was going on uh, Rap Radar with Elliot Wilson. Uh, I think he went on Combat Jack or... Come back, I can't remember what it was, but Comeback Jack is one of the first podcasters in hip hop with, you know, Elliot Wilson, Joe Budden, Tax Stone even, okay? Uh, don't try to rewrite history, Diddy. Okay, I'm not going to blame Nori and DJFN for this because Diddy was the one giving them, you know, telling them they're paving the way for hip hop podcasts. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. The biggest, I think academics has a bigger deal than them. Uh, Joe Budden had big deals. They have they haven't done any. Their deal was a revolt, and they're doing fine. Okay, and I enjoy their podcast. But come on, let's not re. I I hate it when people try to rewrite history. Um, Diddy's just so, ugh, nasty. Then we got Takeoff's little brother writing a letter to him. This is very sad. He said, Dear Take, I don't know where to begin. Honestly, I can't believe it. My big brother, my right hand, my other half, my literal twin. The one I could call upon no matter what time, what situation you were in. You were always made sure family was straight. Even when I didn't uh, need anything, you always gave me something. I remember you telling me when we were kids that one day uh, I was playing the game and you came in the room to sit down next to me. You told me when I make it rap and you can ask me for anything. I mean anything. Me as your little brother, I looked at you and asked anything? He said anything. All the shoes, clothes, and most importantly, games. I laughed and gave him a hug. He says, I hate that I have to move on uh, in my life without you physically here. I wish I could just stop time and wait. But I know that that can't happen. It's a lot of things I'm going to miss about you. I can name them but it would be a full list and it would take forever. I look up to you more than anyone on this earth and I will never stop looking up to you. I'll carry your name until the day I die. I was the pupil to the teacher and you taught me things and brought me places that majority of the people can say they never seen or heard. Level-headed, nothing ever Uh, Got to you unless it had to do with your family or money. Uh, You always stayed in your lane and never bothered anyone. Quiet, but very well spoken. A real humble giant. I hope they find justice for takeoff. Um, 
then we got people remembering Hovain that passed away on Friday. Uh, big manager for a lot of people, like Lloyd Banks. Lloyd Banks uh, shared his condolences. Um, Styles P, one of the most humble, gracious, honorable people. Appreciate you. Energy never dies. Uh, then we got Fat Joe saying, my drip brother. Uh, nothing but positivity. Smoke Dizza said, uh, my manager. My brother, my friend, I'm heartbroken without you. Love you forever. You're a true friend. Buster Rhymes said, a great loss in hip hop. Um, a lot of losses. It's getting out of control. Spitta, meaning uh, currency. He said, uh, one of the first people who genuinely tried to help me, just trying to connect the dots, didn't even want anything in return. I'm going to smoke one for you. Young Guru, who's Jay Z's uh, um, engineer. Lost for words. Uh, I love this man. He was more than just my manager. He was my bro. He was special. Troy Ave, as we know, he started with Troy Ave. He said, our friendship might have changed, but the love was never lost. R.I.P. Hovain, my brother for uh, before and after rap, BSB. This guy, Hov, think he's slick. He's going to die as soon as our movie drop, uh, just to bring marketing promotions to his acting skills. Hove would be crying laughing at that joke. If you know him, you know. Very sad, man. Condolences to his family. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's been a pretty calm day for the news. Uh, and I will check you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everything's going great in your life. And if it's not, it's time to change. It's time to put one foot in front of the other. And try hard every day to get to a place where you're happier. Always wake up and appreciate the things you do have and don't and don't think about the things you don't have. That always is a great start to your day. I've been doing that a lot. And it helps a lot. It's Tower JT News. Peace.